السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Steps to write the course learning outcomes for engineering courses. First of all, and the first step is to check the program learning outcomes based on ABIT and NCAA domains. As you see from his table, we matched three domains from NCAA, knowledge and understanding, skills and values, with ABIT uh, learning outcomes. They are seven. As you see, number seven is March with knowledge. Uh, one, two, and six, they are skills. Three, four, and five, there are values. And we can see from this table that the seventh ABIT learning outcomes that we matched with knowledge and understanding is an ability to acquire and apply new knowledges as needed using appropriate learning strategies. And the same for all seven ABIT learning outcomes. We distributed them over the NCAA domains, knowledge and understanding, skills and values. Uh, we want uh, just to mention that it is important to look at the, the verbs that used in the program learning outcomes. These verbs will help you to write the course learning outcome of your course. As you see for the knowledge we have acquired and apply new knowledge for uh, skills, the number one is about identify, formulate, and solving engineering problems. The, the second learning outcome is about engineering design, and you have to take some considerations related to public health, safety, and welfare, as well as global, cultural, social, environmental, and economic factors. The third one is about uh, developing and conducting appropriate experimentations and this S3 is suitable with lab courses or courses that contains uh, experiment experiments or laboratory. Uh, about the values, we have three learning outcomes from ABITS that fit with the NCAA domain values V1, V2 and V3. The first one is about communicating effectively with audience. The second one is about ethics and professional responsibilities. And the third one is about leadership and working effectively with a team. So as you see, we have here communicate, recognize ethical function effectively, teamwork, leadership, create, establish, and so on. So these verbs are important from our program learning outcomes that we matched with the three domains from NCAA. The next step, this matrix is from the program uh, specifications from NCAA. And also, as you see, we match the NCAA domains with ABIT learning outcomes and distributed over courses. For example, the EE101 is, uh, has knowledge and understanding, and S1, which means solving engineering problems, and so on. As you see, we have three levels uh, of learning outcomes, or course learning outcomes. We have I, which means introduced, P means practiced, M means mastered, and as you see, it is this level for low level courses, we have introduced courses or introduced learning outcomes. For uh, medium levels, we have practiced, and for high levels, we have mastered. For all courses, should be we have to uh, to distribute our uh, seven learning outcomes over all courses, and as you see, uh, maximum for learning outcomes is enough for every course and all courses they are covering all the seven learning outcomes now uh, including of course elective courses 
Uh, the next step is writing the course learning outcomes based on the course contents and to be matched with assigned program learning outcomes. I took an example from the course specification. This table is from the course specifications and as you see in this table we are trying to write the course learning outcomes based on the aligned program learning outcomes. I took K1, S1, S2 and C1 from this table, from this example 447. As you see, I have K1, I have S1, S2, and I have C1, which is about values. So I took this example now. As you see, the course learning outcomes, they are related to the course contents. So for example, for knowledge and understanding, I have two course learning outcomes for one program learning outcome, which is acceptable, but you cannot put more than program learning outcomes for every course learning outcomes. It will be difficult to measure several program learning outcomes using only one course learning outcomes. You have to be specific. And because the first domain is about knowledge and understanding, as you see, we have uh, used verbs describe, understand uh, for a uh, knowledge domain. Uh, for S1, as you know, it is about solving the problem. So we use solve, radar range, equation, search, and detection interface. And S2 is about design. As you see, I have two course learning outcomes about analyzing and design. Of course, you don't have to use design as direct because design contains several uh, steps and finally the C1 which is should be V1 values this should be V1 it is about an ability to communicate effectively with a range of audiences uh, really all values you don't have to write it specifically for your course contents because values they are as they are they are suitable for all courses and uh, now after writing the course learning outcomes considering uh, writing the or choosing the right uh, verbs that match with program learning outcomes that we took from this table now the last step is to link your course learning outcomes with teaching strategies and assessment method then we have two learning outcomes as knowledge and understanding we have three uh, learning outcomes as skills to one of them about solving the problems and two about design and the last one is a soft learning outcome about the ability to communicate effectively with a range of audiences to choose the, the the appropriate teaching strategies as you know for example for knowledge understanding you can use uh, for, for example lectures or you can use a group for example Discussion and you can use a direct assessment like exams, discussions, homework, quizzes, other assessment methods. But if you want to talk as engineering and, uh, and about the, the skills domain, uh, we have solve and design. As you know, lectures, they are bad choice for uh, delivering this uh, learning outcome. Well, lecture is a part, but you can use projects or solving problems or uh, case study that will help you to really check these learning outcomes and of course their assessments maybe it is not a good choice you can choose for example presentation you can use for example oral exam you can use reports in order to check and to assess uh, these learning outcomes. For the last learning outcome values and ability to communicate effectively with a range of audiences, maybe micro projects and presentation will give you, or maybe you need, for example, uh, observation to observe who is communicating effectively. Uh, maybe you will need a report and other assessment uh, things but you can for example choose here 
a lecture as a teaching strategy because it's not effective here and it's very difficult to use lectures to, do, to check the, or to deliver uh, this, uh, this, uh, this learning outcome about communicate effectively. You have to choose uh, more practical uh, teaching strategies. Uh, thank you for watching.